hundreds of millions of your tax dollars with little or nothing to show for it. We're talking about money spent on studies, consultants, or direct investments in projects that haven't paid off. WREL investigates Ashley Rowe went through years of records where money seemingly is wasted and asks what can be done to keep it from happening again. We silence those who said the global transport will never work because today the global transport is the best thing we got going in North Carolina. To put that kind of investment into a uh, region of the state that, uh, uh, that needs some additional economic development. Over the past 30 years, those taxpayer investments have reached around $1 billion. There have been big announcements. It's the validation of all that we'd hoped for and dreamed for. And big critics. It's been a lot of money and with precious little to show for it. To get the project started, the state spent a half million dollars to study the GTP's potential impact. The estimate, more than 101,000 jobs and a $3.8 billion economic impact by 2010. The GTP's most recent numbers show just 2,400 jobs and the $661 million economic impact. Despite a fading sign out there now and plenty of undeveloped land, the state gave the project another $350 million in this year's budget. And I guess you can argue that the vision of the Global Trans Park never really um, occurred. NC State economist Mike Walden raised red flags about GTP years ago. This gets to, uh, I guess, a philosophy of what government should do and should not do. We found this article from the early 90s, where Walden clearly said, buyer beware. He feels there's one reason lawmakers are still spending on the project. We're going to put more money in. To, we, want, we want to make this to a success, because if, if it doesn't, it's not a success in some form. This is going to look bad for us. My goal is to just never let that happen again. Durham Mayor Leonardo Williams says spending good money after bad is not an option for him after the city spent more than $100 million on a light rail study that led to zilch. There won't be significant investments, you know, under my watch if I'm in charge. Uh, with any uncertainty. We're keeping track of a couple of newer gambles. In Chapel Hill, at a time with rising tuition, the school is spending 217000 for recommendations on a new location for the Dean Dome. Durham is looking for proposals for someone to teach teens about shoemaking and design. While those projects are on a small scale compared to GTP and light rail, Mayor Williams says protecting every penny of taxpayer dollars is important. Anytime we make an investment and the investment goes awry, uh, it is upsetting. Well, Mayor Williams points out a catch-22 with some of these projects because you need proof they're possible or worth it to get federal funding. He adds in many cases hiring outside help is necessary so city employees can oversee several projects instead of focusing on just one.